What up, Cockboy Nation? It's your best friend, Gary Gabagool, and welcome to Cam Girl Diaries. I'm your host, the artist formerly known as Pervert Pete, and today I'm joined by my lovely co-host, Luscious Leisha. Welcome. Hey, what up? Uh, Thank you. Hey, what's going on? Oh, man, this is exciting. I never had a co-host before. It's going to be groundbreaking. Maybe. Epic. But it's not just us, of course. Tonight, we have Mistress Mercy Rage. She's a bratty Canadian pro dom and tease, a pegging princess, and fetish freak. <laughs> that sounds fun. Mm, I can't wait. Yeah. All right. Let's bring her in. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hello. How are you guys? Uh, we're great, I think. <laughs> I mean, I am. How about you? I'm doing all right. <laughs> so, That's Mistress cute. Mercy Rage. Now, yeah. Now, I wasn't, like, creeping on your Twitter or anything, but holy shit. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty awesome. You're, all of uh, Mercy's uh, links are in the description. Go check her out. So, mm -hmm. you're a dominatrix. Yeah, mostly. I mean, on stream, I can do a bit of both, but I lean mostly to the dom. And I'm not very, very submissive. Yeah, even so, if like they are paying me, I can't be extremely, extremely submissive. Right. So yeah. So, like, so like what? Like what? What do you classify as? Because I don't know. I don't know how this shit works. Like you know, you got cam girls who do like chatter bait and OnlyFans and all that. What do you classify yourself as? Uh, yeah. I mostly just say pro dom as well, and then I just do multiple aspects of sex work as a pro dom. So, yeah. like, are, are you on what, like, uh, like what websites are you on? A list of them. <laughs> I don't know. You can basically think of any of them, and I'm mostly on it. Mostly stream on Streamate, which is also Jerkmate, those sites, you know? And then I have, like, a Loyal Fans and Only Fans, a Dark Fans, Fansly. Yeah, all those. <laughs> oh, so, like, like are, are, there, are there certain ones that are, like, you know, like, better than others? Or you just... Um, they're all good in like certain ways, you know, like OnlyFans is very well known nowadays, right? But they're very restrictive on the type of content that I do, you know, like pegging is not allowed there. You can't even write the word pegging. You can't even write the word whipping or caning or anything like that. Yeah, so like I have to buy oh, shower. those things. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like there's sites specific for the content that I like to produce, and OnlyFans is not one of those, unfortunately. Uh, so like you can't like step on guys' balls on OnlyFans. <laughs> like I I post most of my stuff anyways. It's just you have to be so careful with your verbiage. Yeah, like uh, you, you gotta can be sneaky. Say that. Yeah, exactly. Like um. I don't think you can even say beating and you can't say ball busting either. You'd have to like type ball yeah. and then busting. They can't be together. So what if you're just like, Hey, I'm busting his balls. Eh, you know, like, like Italian. Yeah. And then I don't, I don't understand if like OnlyFans has somebody sitting there like watching your stuff being like, Oh, and then they decide to take it down or what. But yeah, like I find sometimes it stays up and then sometimes it will stay up for a month and then be taken down. Other times it's like instant takedown. Yeah. That's pretty interesting because like YouTube has all kinds of like AI to figure out like, you know, who's putting bad shit up. So yeah, mm -hmm. I wonder if OnlyFans is like Yeah, that. I've always wondered if it's like a person or if it's AI because yeah, it's very different I find. It's always changing. I honestly think yeah. that it's. I honestly think that it's AI because yeah. if I put things up, I get, shit, I get shit taken on all the time. It's real like instant. Mm. Whereas yeah, yeah. Like, recently I've had them like maybe they updated it or something where they've just like yeah. flagged a bunch of new stuff and I'm like okay, but then I also have like a P video from like oh, yeah. when I'm OnlyFans blew up that never got flagged and I can still send around and I'm like. So what's the difference? What's changing these things? Yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. that's that's scary. Cause then, cause like I don't know, like about how how it works for OnlyFans, like getting you know terminated and everything. Cause I'm get, yeah. Do you know? Unless, um, no. A lot of people anyone? do say that if you post these things, then it's risking your page, right? But yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, OnlyFans like some violation. I don't know. 
Do you know how many it is? Like how many violations? I've had like five and I'm okay. So. Oh, whereas I feel like I've had like 15 to 20 violations. Okay. I still so, have my pages. Like <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, Ugh. yeah. Well, that's good at least. <laughs> yeah. So, so where do you post like your, you know, your bad shit? Like, uh, cause I see you got a, uh, was it many vids? Yeah, but my favorites is probably dark fans. I feel like it's the not as common though. Like, not as many people know about it. But they're just yeah. not as restrictive on the stuff. Like, you can post everything. Uh, dark. I've never heard of dark fans before. Um, I think they're the same. Like, you know how Streammate is the same as Jerkmate. I think um, dark fans is the same as Lover fans and the same as Scatbook. Like, they're all the same. That gotcha. site. Yeah. Oh my gotcha. God. So it's, is that on the dark web? No. Or is it just regular? Okay. And that's the other thing. I'm like, oh. why can you post all these things and then they're still able yeah. to pay us? Meanwhile, you can't post these things on any other site, you know? Yeah, it's like you never know. You have to read every site's rules because they're all different. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Where do you yeah, that you make the most money on? Um, probably dark fans as well, just because like you can find all of my content there. Whereas if you're looking for a certain fetish, you have to almost do your own research of like, where can you even find that fetish? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you could post anything on dark fans? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. right, I think right. like the only restriction they might have is blood, but that's just because I don't post anything blood. So I don't know if you can or not yeah uh, yeah yeah i guess that could go yeah i guess that could go really bad and get some really good <laughs> characters <on> yeah <laughs> it's hard to find a site that will let blood play go in there it's like few and far between yeah. Any of them. yeah but then even like selling period panties and stuff like that is common so then it's like yeah. where where do you sell those yeah you go, where do you, go you to sell site. those i know i used <laughs> to sell i used to sell my period trash <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, you go to like senatepansy.com. You have to pay to be a member there. There's Senate Pansy, All Things Worn, Sniffer. Um, yeah, any deal. They let you do those. They don't even care. Nice. Yeah. Whereas I only sell like my finished items on many vids, and that's not mm -hmm. one of the things that I yeah. sell. <laughs> so. Well, what do you sell? You sell like what? Your panties? Yeah. And like my toenails, the like feet skin, stuff like yep. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a dirty girl. <laughs> they do. I they just do. Like the weird stuff. <laughs> like anything weird I've been to. I'm the same with you. I've sold my feet shavings before. I've sold, I probably, this is kind of gross. My nipple piercings when they were new, they kind of like got that crust on them. People oh. wanted that. So I sold yeah. that for like $70 I mean, a bottle. I that when I had my nipples pierced. Lost money. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> Oh, man, yeah, there's know. somebody out there for everything. What about mm -hmm. like toenail clippings? Do do people yep. buy those? Yeah, yeah, I have like these little vials that I put them in. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's oh the same God. as my little spit vials. Yeah. Uh, Cause yep. my neighbor, she clips her toenails and puts them in jar. She got like a bunch of jar. I'm gonna tell her. Maybe she start collecting them. Yeah. yeah. You should. There's a huge market for that shit. There really is. Mm -hmm. Especially like yeah, you do sell your do you sell your pee too. I used to sell my pee and my cum right in those little vials. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just i'm always worried about how it's gonna like smell you know like it's yeah. a liquid i'm like the poor mailman if this leaks <laughs> i've thought that a million times i'm like oh god <laughs> well that that's a great question how do you how do you ship uh your pee and whatnot like um so i have what's it called one of those like uh, they like seal things they're like air sealers i think they're called vacuum sealer Yes, the vacuum sealer. Yeah. yeah, and that works pretty well. At least I haven't had any complaints. And then, yeah, you put it in one of those. I just go straight to Post Canada, Canada Post, and then they have, like, those little bubble mailers that you buy. And then you claim it on your taxes, and you're done. Yeah. Do you have to tell them that it's <laughs> liquid or anything? I usually just try not to show them. I'm one of those weirdos where I'll have, like, a purse, and then I'll open up the bubble mailer and just, like, I'm trying to like over in the corner, <laughs> sneaking it in there, yeah, yeah, hoping that they can't see what I'm putting in it. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Man, that shit is crazy. So when you mail, I have a question about what you do for your mailing. Do you use like um, a fake? Do you use a PO box or a virtual PO box, or do you just use the customer's return address for safety concerns? 
I just put the same address that they've you given know? me. Yeah. It's like I just write it for the return sender and for the like sender and I haven't had any issues yet. So mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know a lot of people don't want their, you know, their name and address out there. So you never know who you're sending yeah. the shit to, you know? So that's good. Mm-hmm. Ain't that the truth? You don't want no free you get any you get any of those freaks that, you know, stalk you? I feel like everyone in this industry has had, you know, one or two clients get a little too obsessive or <laughs> like a little too interested. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that does <laughs> suck. Man, so so I, I was looking at your your Twitter, not not, you know, not creepily, just doing research. <laughs> But I saw I saw this one video where you and some other girl are sitting on guys' faces. Yeah. So where do you find these guys? Are they friends? Are they um, buddies? Like, they're, like some of them eventually become friends. I don't know. Like, depending on which sub you saw me with. Yeah. But um, some of them I also do like in person sessions as well. Like if they. Are only for like fetish stuff though. Yeah. So like if you want to get pegged in person and then I'll be like, Hey, any chance you want to film this? You know, like if I saw them do well, like, uh, I think it was just the other day I was in Toronto and I met up with this guy and he was actually phenomenal for, um, fisting. And I haven't like, I haven't met a sub before that can take that before. So I'm like, Hey, can we, next time we see each other, can we film this? Like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, make some content while you're at it for sure for OnlyFans mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. You know, why not? Yeah. How long have you been been doing this for the Dom the Dom on sessions? Well, um, so like I've been strictly only Dom for a little over a year now, but I've mm-hmm. been like dabbling in other aspects of sex work for probably like six or seven years now. Right. Yeah. For a while. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So what's your favorite? Definitely. Um, my favorite uh, it kind of switches around too, depending on like my energy levels and how much effort I want to put into something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or I really like, I don't know, sometimes I'll be a little bit more lonely. So then I'm like, okay, like I just want to film with subs that I really like or something like that. And that will be my focus for the week or sometimes i'm too like overwhelmed with people so i'm like no i'm just gonna stream alone for the week or something yeah they kind of flip around oh shit so do you got like a like a rolodex of guys you'd be like shit i don't know you just like call them up and be like yeah come over man we got you know <laughs> um depending on, on the balls. city as well like i'm canadian so i flip around from vancouver to toronto a lot and those are the bigger cities in Canada as well, right? So a lot of people are willing to just travel to them or I already know a decent amount of subs that I have like a more lifestyle relationship with and yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Do you have a lot of, do you have any um, subs that you've had for a long time? Like how long have you had one for? Uh, I'd say the longest is just about a year or so. Yeah. it. it Mm, I think it was harder previously to keep somebody lifestyle because I was traveling a lot more than I am now. Like, especially during COVID, I was just like driving cross country all the time. So I found by the time I got back to a city, like the sub had moved on or found somebody else. And I'm like, oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah. Now, how many um, subs do you think you have in like a year? Oh, that depends on if we're counting like the failed ones or not. <laughs> yeah, let's count the failed ones. The failed ones, probably like mm, 15 a month or so, including the failed wow. ones. Yeah, because so many will like Damn, girl. come and give you like a tribute and like you'll try to establish a relationship and then like, yeah, either they right. can't afford it, they don't have the time or things just don't mesh. Yeah. Right, right I get that. Mm-hmm. Now, do you participate in any like, um, testings or anything for subs yeah 
yeah especially like filming subs and stuff like that like um a lot of them especially once we meet it's like not contact kind of thing but once right. especially since i film a lot and that's kind of my main income is probably off mm -hmm. the clips and stuff um right clips just sell better when there's like the actual contact right with like right exactly yeah if i'm talking about ass licking then they actually want to see the ass licking where it's right Right. Yeah. So then do those you ones. Do you yeah. have like a general contract or anything that you have drafted up for people? Like saying they have like so many weeks to get tested or whatever? Or No, usually it's just like, a, I don't know, the relationship would be like, hey, if you want to film this week, I need new testing or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, everyone's pretty cool with that. Yeah. I haven't had any issues yet. <laughs> nice. Very good. So, so for both of you, are either of you afraid of AIDS anymore? I just learned that uh, you know AIDS ain't a big thing, like really. Yeah, did you? It's always in the back of my mind. Yes. Yeah, especially the bigger ones. Yeah, because like obviously gonorrhea and chlamydia and stuff like it's not amazing mm -hmm. if you catch it, but there's treatment. But uh, that's why there's always the testing, you know. And like even with it, then I still find I am pretty paranoid. So then like I almost over test myself, <laughs> but. Yeah. Yeah. There's also, I think, why would it be calmer now? Because I, there's been the talk about like them having treatment for it now, well, or now, is it the crap? Well, yeah, not only yeah. is there treatment, they have, uh, they have a before one where it'll prevent you from getting AIDS and an after that'll prevent you from getting AIDS. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I'm like, wow. The prep medication. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like preventative. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. You know, I'm not afraid to get yeah. AIDS anymore. <laughs> Just everything else now. That's true. You know? Yeah. It's crazy. Exactly. That used to be a death sentence. Yes. I used to worry about that when I was younger, but now that I'm older, I'm, I don't know. It's always in the back of my mind, but I didn't know they had all that kind oh, of shit. Yeah, That's yeah look that up. Yeah. It's crazy. I, it blew yeah, my mind. Because that yeah. was a death I sentence. I don't know if it would yeah. change anything for me because. I'm still like, you know how uh, there's stories about people, the antibiotics for even chlamydia and gonorrhea not working anymore. Like we're getting too used to it. I'm one of those people that's like paranoid that like sure that we have treatment, but the treatments aren't going to work. Yeah. So. Yeah. What so is stick the, to those testings. You'll be yeah. good. <laughs> Very well, yeah, much. Because I don't even know, like, like for chlamydia and all that, are, are they just antibiotics they give you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's why. Yeah, yeah, because that's been a thing for a long time about, and you know, we take yeah. too many antibiotics, you know? Yeah. And yeah, I'm, you're immune to it, so it doesn't work anymore. I think some of them have a shot as mm -hmm. well, but I'm not sure if that's just like a stronger antibiotic that is a shot form, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's all depressing. Do you, ever, do, you ever get, do you ever get scared, like, living this kind of lifestyle when you do, like, meets in person? Do you ever get scared? Um, well, if it's a new person, then there's not contact. Yeah. So like, sure, there's still obviously like the risk of something possibly happening. But like, say, I'm face sitting them and like, I've established there's no like, bare contact, and I can feel that they're trying to make it happen, then I don't know, I have enough balls that I'll be like, you know, session's over, you're risking right. things, goodbye, you know? And then right. obviously I'd never see that person again. But yeah. Do you ever though worry about, um, you know, them trying to hurt you? Uh, I think that helps that I'm just like such an aggressive person that like, I kind of dare them to, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Like, Do you carry any weapon or anything on you for protection? I believe it's illegal to say so, but I usually like to make sure. Yeah. I have defend yourself then. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And also like, um, I don't know, I have like my veneers in that are fangs. So like, I, I was just going to ask you to have fangs. Yeah. I they're, I like, they're really yeah, sharp. They're too, hot. So I'm like if I really needed to, I have like a weapon embedded in my body now. And I used to be obsessed with and those are veneers. Yeah, yeah, they're like the little porcelain veneers. <laughs> That's hot as fuck. That's real hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. so you're good. You don't need anything else. Just yeah. bite them. 
and I used to bite the balls off. Obsessed with those, like the really sharp, long nails. Like if you couldn't pierce skin with them, mm -hmm. they weren't enough for me. Yes. But yeah, mm -hmm. and then it also nice. helps that like obviously most of the dudes that are coming to meet me they're actually very very submissive so like they don't really have the balls to really even introduce themselves to you let alone try to push you or something <laughs> like right that's yeah. true so it's taking it down a notch before you even you know you even know what you're going into so yeah, yeah. About that and you can kind of like even right at the door or like through the text when they're trying to book a session or something like that you can tell like if they're submissive or not, you know, or if they're trying to top from the bottom, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you just beat them down, really. I mean, they're right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. just bites their neck. And, <laughs> they're good. And plus, they'll probably <laughs> like it. So it's win win for everybody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you, have, do you have any subs? Do you ever do like vampire stuff? I've been debating on it. Like, I, I do a lot of POV videos that I'll talk about. Like, being a succubus and stuff like that but um i just haven't decided if i am going to get into like the biting fetish and stuff like that because right. then i have to have like random people in my mouth since yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know about all that yeah but... exactly i'm like uh... <laughs> we'll see we'll see yeah right yeah, <laughs> maybe like... down the road right well yeah mm -hmm. for that do, do you gotta like you gotta draw blood I'd assume so to like get hard into yeah. the fetish. So I'm like, yeah. That blood, yeah. man. Blood's no good. That's how you get AIDS and all that bad stuff. It is. Mm -hmm. That's a sure sign of AIDS right there. But AIDS is curable yeah. now, so it's all good. That's true. Don't worry about so it. So it's maybe if it's pay if they pay you enough, it may be worth the risk. You know, <laughs> they got that cure, so yeah. you'll be good. Well, what else can you, uh, see, I, now I'm all I'm all sidetracked on like AIDS and like what <laughs> what you can get through blood and everything. <laughs> Vampire hepatitis. That's a bad one. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's. I actually learned bad. recently that I I yeah. never even got vaccinated for hepatitis, so I've been like struggling. Really? To, yeah, I assumed like you got that as a kid, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah you never, never got me the hepatitis shot. <laughs> Just run around trying to suck blood. You don't even have hepatitis shot. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, I need to get those. <laughs> it's on Just the calendar. door. Yeah, but then I also learned that um. It's two shots, too. Yeah, for the hepatitis preventative. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's when you're a baby and then, like, when you're eight, I think it was. Something like that. Yeah. Didn't get those. I don't know. I have yeah, to, it's, like, yeah, when you're to kid, that Someone I know uh, was just <laughs> worried about that, too. And, uh, yeah, because you get it when you're a kid and then, like you said, you get it when you're eight. And it's only, uh, and but it all depends on like as you age, how effective it is. Like for some people, it's like 90% effect, like when you're an adult, 20, 30, it's only like it's 90% mm -hmm. effective. So other people, it's only like 30% effective, but you don't yeah. know. That, I don't know. Yeah, that's. If you keep thing. researching these things, you're going to become a hermit too, because like, yeah, <laughs> you get scared. And I'm, I'm a very paranoid person already, so I'm like, ah. Nobody ever touched me, ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, because I'm all freaked out about that shit now. Because, like, you could get it from touching garbage and all kinds of, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, see, we, we can't talk about this. This is, like, no, let's not even go there. Horribly <laughs> negative shit, you know? Let's not do it. Just don't go digging through garbage. Yeah, just don't dumpster dive. You'll be okay. Yeah. You know, don't meet your subs in the dumpster. You'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was my main spot, though. I guess I'll sort of do my entire lifestyle. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Dumpster girls. Everybody loves that. <laughs> hey, that must be a new genre. You never know. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a oh, neat dumpster jam. Yeah, yeah, like in the back of like like you know like make videos like in the back of uh, you know uh, convenience stores and shit like naked in a dumpster. Yeah. <laughs> mm. it's so hot. That turns me on. Wow. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if there's anyone into like, you know, like banging in dumpsters or probably. Yeah. There's I bet you dumpster divers are. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, bring you <laughs> my dumpster. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of freaks out there. Okay, enough about dumpsters. <laughs> Shit. So so what do you travel for? Like is it all uh, for business or are you just, you know, doing your thing? Um, yeah, it was mostly just for business because, like, 
I grew up in a smaller town, so I always thought like you had to go to the big cities, right, to do anything. And yeah, that's kind of where it started. And then I just always had to travel outside of this small town, right? But at this point, no, it's more like um, I'm based more in Vancouver, but I still have to go to that small town to go see family, right? So yeah, I like fly out to Toronto and then they're a couple hours from there. Yeah, so I just do like loops. <laughs> oh, so you just stay in Canada, you don't go to US? I'm scared to because I keep hearing all these like yeah, only things and stuff being banned and I'm like I don't I don't know if I'd make it. <laughs> yeah. It's rough here. It sucks here. Mm, I really want to go to Seattle so, though because there's like another fetish producer out there that I'm like and it's super close to Vancouver, but yeah, I just haven't gotten the balls to test if I can make it to the states or not. <laughs> you're gonna have to try it out you definitely have to they always say to face your fears so you may have to do it you never know <laughs> and then i get banned from the states. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but at least you, you, you gotta try at least just once yeah just once you can't hurt well it could <laughs> but... so, speaking of family does your family know the type of lifestyle that you have do they know what you do for a living yeah yeah my mother actually yeah. helps me with my taxes <laughs> very nice yeah, I find it very nice to be open about everything. If yeah. they don't like it, you know, they don't like it, but that's awesome. Yeah, and I also, like, I don't know, I'm just so, like, embedded in the lifestyle that, like, if you don't know what I do, then it's so hard to talk to you because it's, like, all I want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's your life, mm -hmm. pretty much. So, yeah, if I they didn't know, then I'd, like, barely talk to them, so... Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of a lot of girls that cam like um, they do a different like act the whole time. It looks like you just you bring your life right into it, which is is good. A lot of people can't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I also like I started so young and yeah, I feel like you kind of make those stupid mistakes when you're young. Like, yeah. <laughs> Why? How how young were you? Um, well, like, I got online, like, as soon as I was able to, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I even remember, like, I grew up in the generation of Omegle, right? Or Omegle, however you say that. So, yeah, like, I had friends that I'd go on to Omegle with all the time. And then I'd be like, you know what, I could be a cam girl. So I think at, like, 15 or 16, I tried to sign up to some of these cam sites. But, oh like... They, they ask for ID, right? So I didn't make it on. But I remember signing up for like, I think it's Live Jasmine or Love Jasmine. And yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I probably have like a half done account from like so long ago on there. All right. You, what, Do you ever think about going on any other campsites at all? Um, not really like a full campsite because like streammates the one that i mostly like is just cam that i go on but then i also cam on many vids on loyal fans and occasionally only fans yeah so uh, i got to i got to ask uh did, did, when you were on omegle uh, you might not remember but did you ever run into a guy in a ski mask a white tie white suspenders He's a filthy whore. Yeah, huh? and, he, and he, he might have showed you oh, his wiener. I feel like I would have remembered that. And... Oh, all right, all right, all right. Just, <laughs> just checking, just checking. Because uh, <laughs> someone I know used to do He's that. got a wiener all the time. He's got a wiener in his hand all the time. Yeah, he holds up <laughs> a hot dog. It's a whole thing. Yeah, that's guy I know. Yeah. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, do, speaking of Omegle, do you remember? Because you were, what, 15, 16. Were guys, like, showing you their dick and everything? Yeah, yeah, or there'd be like those contests of like, uh, smile for me, get five points, show me your tits, and you get 200, though. <laughs> yeah, like those ones. Damn, I feel old. Those. I don't even know what Omega was. I just found out the other day. I had no idea what it was. It, it's horrible for underage girls, especially yeah. that game yeah. you're talking about. Horrible. Yeah, yeah, what a but um, <laughs> did, no, did, I had um. I had a gay best friend at the time. So the main thing we did on Omega was like, I'd 
flirt with the dudes or be like, oh, yeah, do you want to see my tits? And then I'd go like this slow, like, oh, oh, I'm about to show you. And then like he'd walk in and pretend to be angry. Like he's my boyfriend. I'm cheating on him. And he'd like, yeah. And then we, we'd reenact this fight scene and stuff like that in front of the camera until they exited. Oh, that's awesome. Time, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, you could put that on YouTube and shit. People like that <laughs> shit. That's awesome. See, you're making content and you're so young. You should have been recording it too. <laughs> right? But no, we were just doing it for fun. Like bored on a Tuesday night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, that's awesome, man. <laughs> so like you, you have a, you say you have a boyfriend. Is he, does he do content with you? Uh, yes and no. Like he's just a stunt dick. He doesn't show face or anything like that. So... Yeah, he's not too used. What did you What did you refer to him as? What did you say? What kind of a dick? A stunt dick. <laughs> oh, gotcha. That's fucking awesome. I've never heard that term before. <laughs> hmm. I like that. I need a stunt yeah, dick. he he's not like a full actor. He's just the stunt person. Yeah. Oh man, he's got it good. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have to be the stunt dick. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that. That's great. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna advertise for that. I need a stunt dick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking awesome, man. Like, do you, what's your, like, like do you have a long-term goal or long-term plans or you're just going as it is, you know? Uh, kind of going as it is, yeah. Um, I think long-term I'd look into doing a studio because I've worked with a lot of fetish producers and they're all, like, men, first of all, but they're all, like, you know, the subs that, you could tell they started out doing this as like a free session or something like that, you know? Yeah. And yeah, there's just no female run studios that I know of fetish wise. So I think that would be kind of cool. And also you would think it would be easier for a girl to do because like I can bring in the subs, whereas as a different dude, how are you getting more dudes in there? Yeah. You might be onto something there. Yeah, so I'm just like, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, you definitely have to do that. You have to. <laughs> really? Like, you well, have fetish to, is, man. Yeah, like Fetish this. is so underground and, you know, female-run studio, that'd be perfect. Yeah, so we will see how it goes in the future. I have a friend, um, Princess Mia, that's who we're hoping to start a fetish studio with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. You, you should do that, man. How do guys, like, there's so many guys, like, doing the fucking producing and all that shit. How the fuck, like, I don't understand. Like, why is there not more females doing it? Yeah, there uh, should be. Like, is it a money thing or, or what? That, or I feel like, like, this industry, a lot of the girls in it and stuff, like, just the industry as a whole is known to be pretty unreliable, you know? So... I feel like uh, like the girls in the industry recognize that and they don't want to put themselves in a place where they're going to have to rely on all these unreliable people, you know, or like mm. build up the contacts. Yeah. As a like girl in the industry, it's easier to just focus on yourself and build yourself. Whereas right. as a guy in the industry, you need the girls to build yourself. Yeah. Right. Right. And you said you live this lifestyle. You live it every day? Of the week yeah 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 <laughs> what do you do for, what do you do for self-care i feel like that's such i don't know i'm i'm so weird about it because um weirdly cleaning is really like therapeutic yeah. to me yeah like i'll just zone out and like deep clean the entire house or something like, yeah yep that can be very therapeutic to people definitely mm -hmm. and do you ever get like burned out or anything sorry yeah yeah definitely Mm -hmm. In fact, I've been kind of just debating on like, should I start hiring a sub to edit my videos or something? Like, yeah, I need somebody else to start doing some of my stuff. Yeah, right. like when you get burnt out, do you just like you just say fuck it and just like not do anything, or you like push through and f you know do the shitty acting? Right. Yeah. I I find I've done a mix of all of the forms. Yeah. Like I've had a lot of videos where I've gone to go film with somebody and you rewatch them and be like, I'm not going to make any money from this. Or like you rewatch yourself and you're like, I gave 30% in that. <laughs> so then you just feel ashamed while editing it. And it's like, ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's, that's wrong. Do you, use, do you use any like special like um, apps or equipment or programs for editing? 
that you can maybe somebody wanted to do it, you know, a first time thing? What would you suggest? I still edit on my phone. I use CapCut, which is like the TikTok recommended editing app. Yeah. But um, I know a lot of people that use iMovie, surprisingly. Never heard of that one. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, because like, you know, years ago, people were like, you know, like you need the top of the line shit. And nowadays you don't like you could do everything on your iPhone, all the fucking like there's so many uh, software that's either for your phone or computer that's like, you know, real basic or simple, but it's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I think people like, (laughs) yeah, they get worried, like, you know, like, oh, shit, I need to fucking get, uh, you know, what is that? After Effects and all this shit. Yeah. And you don't. You could do that shit on your phone. Because I've seen your fucking videos. Like, they they look, they are high quality. Yeah. Well, I find a lot of it's, like, lighting. If you have good lighting, then it bypasses you through a lot. (laughs) Yeah. So you got it. But, yeah, then you also have to know about lighting. Yeah. You know, because, yeah. Yep. And that's where the YouTube tutorial comes in, you know? The other thing, though, is you can learn, like, everything off of YouTube, especially nowadays, like, everything. So That's how I live my life. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to do something. I look it up, and then I'm good. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. Exactly. I know, man. We live in a Google 8, like, you know, like, like I, people, are, like, they'll ask me questions and shit. I'm like, Google that shit. I don't fucking know. Like, yeah. you, could, you could find out anything, you know? Like, Back in the day, we were looking at fucking encyclopedia stuff. I was in school, you know. We could just go to the internet. It's so easy now, easy, easy. Mm-hmm. Right, like with everything you do, like you, like do you do you put a lot of time into like you know like like even for whatever it is, editing, lighting, whatever. Do you put a lot of time into like researching shit and like learning shit before you do it, or you just fucking wing it? Uh yeah, a lot of research and also just like kind of collabing with other people you can see like what they do and then it gives you a good idea of like what you like to do to be on that level or resemble what they're doing and stuff yeah i find that helps a lot too yes excellent point yeah research like that's what i'm bit like research but yeah collabing with people is such a big fucking thing uh, yeah you know, right i mean i don't think enough people do that shit yeah. No, I don't. How do you find people to collab with? What do you do? You just uh, get your subs. No, I, I, I really like creeping people. Honestly, like social media and stuff like that. I've probably stalked so many people's full lives and everything. So yeah, it's just social media. Like when you find yourself going through like those plummets and stuff of just mm-hmm. scrolling through pages and stuff. Yeah. Usually that's me but i'll be like oh is is this girl like a working girl would would she be interested in showing her feed or is she like yeah especially if they're already on OnlyFans or stuff but i also really like producers yeah i find like they're you know you want to find somebody that's bigger than you but then when you're like smaller in the pool right you need to benefit them so yeah, working with a producer, like they're making money off of working with you because they're helping you produce the content and stuff. But you can see how they professionally do all this stuff. Right. Yeah. Do you reach out directly if you find somebody you're interested in? Uh, after stalking their page a bit, because I'll try to see like, <laughs> what they do, what they have done kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if they like within like five tweets or something like that talk about how they had a really bad collab or something then I probably won't reach out to them or if on their entire page I never see them with somebody else it's all solo Mm -hmm. stuff then I probably won't reach out yeah Mm -hmm. so So what kind of content do you think sells the most of what you do uh it changes per page i'd say like um i want clips i make the most off of my p content mm-hmm. uh many vids i make the most off of my like dirty talking toilet stuff mm-hmm. yeah. whereas dark fans i make the most off of like my extreme bondage and like whipping and stuff like that gotcha yeah. what mm-hmm. about uh many fans like is that just a like a just a bunch just whatever uh only fans yeah i find it like switches especially depending on 
who my recent subscribers are because I don't know I almost use OnlyFans as more of like a social media page because they'll ask for a fetish and then I'll be like oh I can't do that here and then I'll try to like slowly guide them to the site that they can yeah so like OnlyFans for me is almost like a filter yeah so I get probably I mo make the most of that through just messaging because I have it so that they have to tip to message so yeah so so you use, so like once they subscribe then you try to i guess upsell them uh usually they just message me because um in my little greeting message it's like a, oh blah 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 about me and then like tell me about yourself what's your fetishes and then yeah we kind of go from there so yeah so so you upsell them. so you do you but like you say like you upsell them to the other sites yeah okay all right do you ever um, do stuff on FetLife at all? Yes and no. Like, I post just my teasers there, again, to, like, just bring them to the paid sites. Yeah. But I recently learned that on FetLife, in order to view any videos, you have to pay. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. And I'm like, that is so weird. Yeah, so then the dudes that are seeing my teasers, they're already paying to see these little, like, one-minute teasers of, like... Right come to this page and so now I kind of feel bad I feel like I need to start posting more pictures or something but yeah wait I tend to think go ahead oh no I was gonna say so they, <laughs> pay, they, they pay fet life but do you, you don't get any of that money no I think it's like a subscription or something like that they have to be subscribed or verified on fet life or something like that and then they can see videos so yeah. I wonder if they're paying monthly because if if so, we should be getting a cut of that, right? Yeah. That that's what I assumed. Because I knew you yeah. you have to pay for videos. I assumed, like you know, like it, you <clears> know, <throat> the creators get a cut. Wow. We no. might have to look into this. I wasn't even aware of it until recently, or else I probably wouldn't have been posting. Yeah, my yeah, videos. They're getting, right, yeah, because like you said, you use FetLife to, you yeah. know, bring them to your shit. Fuck that, why should FetLife, what are they doing? Exactly. They're a I'm social media, them. yeah, they're a social yeah. media company, basically. Yeah, because if I was they're paying for those videos, I'd be kind of upset. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> well, I guess, well, yeah, I guess you get, like, if you're paying for a subscription to FetLife, you're, you, I guess you get to see everyone then, if it's just not... If you're just paying fet life yeah but still it's fet life it's, it's not just, fucking yeah fet, it's man. odd it's, it's really dead on fet life i on all the sites is what i think and it's a lot of like really dumb guys i don't know if they just like yeah. mass message people or what like they clearly don't read the profile because mm -hmm. if you even look at my profile you can see that i'm only dom i'm not looking for anything else other than like a submissive and i still get dudes being like well, you take my big cock. Do yeah. you want to see my annoying. big cock? <laughs> and I'm like, it's annoying. Like, I'm a dom, but not like, not, not like you. I'm, I haven't gone that far with things, but yeah, people are like that too. And I'm like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm just, it's just read. Right. You can tell what I want, and it's not that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, who yeah. Or read? Like, Come on. Yeah, or if they think they're like going to be the one special one or something, right? Like, it's going to break you, you know? You're like, yeah, nah. It's just weird because, like, I'd never reach out to another Dom, you know? Like, just Dom and Dom doesn't work. Like, what do you expect here? Exactly. Well, it's felt like, <laughs> is that, like, local? Like, like local guys? Or is it just, like, anyone? I cheat and change my city, like, constantly. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's local and all over. Yeah, it's supposed to be local. But, like, I think I have Saskatoon as my city right now. <laughs> Oh, so you're getting all them Saskatoon guys. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's a little freaky, okay? I'll probably switch it to Winnipeg in a couple weeks, and then... Hey, Canada, Canada sounds real freaky. Saskatoon. Surprisingly, yeah. yeah. Get them Saskatoon big dick guys. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> but no, Hold I on. think it's, like, England. <laughs> I feel like England's the freakiest out of all places. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah those dudes are... Are really freaky. <laughs> they're into some shit, yeah. I would have thought they're like, yes. you know, like real polite and everything. Cause like English people, they talk so polite. Australians they're are even wrong. worse. Oh my <laughs> God. They're freaky as fuck. I wonder with Australia if it's because like sex works legal there. So 
it's more talked about, it's more open. So people are also talking about and being open with their their fetishes. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Well, what about- That's koala bears too, you know? Well, what about Bob and Vagine guys? You know, Indians, like they they hit up everyone. Do you guys get hit up by them? Yeah, Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Oh, do they ever pay? No, they always want us to do it first. And then they'll pay. I'm like, nah, I'm good. You know, you have to pay first. I hate those ones. It's pretty common, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah like, I'm just, like, just just send me a teaser and then I'll pay. Yeah. Nah. They're never the ones that will pay. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing for beginning cam girls. Like if you, they say, oh, I'm going to send you half of it when we're halfway through. Never, ever, ever do anything for free. Mm-hmm. Always get payment over it. Always. Yeah. Yeah, you just get burnt. Yep, I've gotten burnt when I was first started. I was like, oh man, I well, wasted all that like, time. I feel like it's the excitement of like, oh, I'm going to get paid to do this. And yeah. then you do it and you don't get paid. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Yep. And especially if you're like, you know, like you really need the money. Yeah. You take yeah. that chance, right? Well, I feel like that's when you're more likely to get fucked over because you almost like convince yourself that it's real. Even through all the red flags yeah. that have popped up, you're like, I need this, therefore it is real. <laughs> It's not. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. So never, ever give freebies, right? Is that that what you would say? Mm-hmm. Never. Yeah, never. Never, <laughs> never, ever. That's right. <laughs> that is the the mantra of today's episode. Never yes. give freebies, <laughs> especially in a dumpster. Especially mm-hmm. in a dumpster. <laughs> yeah. Unless someone's into that. <laughs> right. Right. All right, everybody. We don't discriminate. No, no discrimination here. We love everybody, That's except right. the Jews that you know don't pay. Not 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 yarmulke wearing Jews. The Jews that just don't pay. You know, they're yes. Jewy. Yes. And the Indian ones too. They don't pay. Yeah, Bob and Vijin guys. No, get them the fuck yeah. out. But yeah. <laughs> All right, Mercy. Thank you so much for doing this. This has been awesome. All your links are going to be in the description. Well, they see, that's the thing. I got to fucking, I got to figure that out. Do you have like a, do you use a, a, like a link, was it a link tree or shit like that? I'm banned from link tree, but I have an all my links. <laughs> all my links. That's, that, that's what I'm going to use in the description. Cause I see like a lot, cause I've been like a lot of people, like they change their Instagram or Twitter handle and like yeah. nobody can find them. Yeah. Especially as we get banned, then you have to like come up with more unique usernames that were similar to your last mm-hmm. one. But yeah. Yes, yes. That's why I think everyone, <laughs> whether it's Linktree, but there's so many of them. Linktree and with Koji. What what do you use? Yeah, I use all my links, but I used to pay for Linktree, and that's why I don't know why I got banned. But yeah, whereas all my links is free. I recently have seen Koji a lot more. Yeah. Because so I think link tree. links is getting a bit more flagged, you know? Right, yeah. Because so, everyone being like link in bio. And, yeah. yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, definitely. Everyone should always fucking use that. I, th- I think a lot of people underutilize those, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, especially for this, because that's why I put, I'm putting in the description. That way everyone can, they can find all your shit. They go to your Twitter, your Instagram, your, you got all your stuff on there, right? Your OnlyFans. Yeah. And, yeah, Everything. all that, all that dirty shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Thanks so much for doing this. It was nice to meet you guys and chat. Thank you. Yes. And hopefully next time we hear about you, you're open your studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will have like princess mia and i will be on here talking about her debut <laughs> i can't wait i'd love to hear it <laughs> all right take care mm-hmm. all right see ya <laughs> all right so that was mistress mercy that was now i learned a lot i don't know about you but i learned a lot yeah i learned a, a bunch that's good yeah. that's good it's always good yeah. to learn i guess that's it the whole point of this so it is. you know Everyone needs to learn. All right, that's it, everyone. Go check out all the links in the description, especially Mercy's links. It will be, uh, what was it? It wasn't Linktree. Fuck Linktree. I want to put that All out. my links. All my links. Go check out her All My Links link. It'll be the first link because, you know, she's the guest. And then, of course, uh, all of our podcast links and fucking social media your link tree or whatever the fuck you got i don't even know i got that link tree i guess i have to switch you might have to right because that's might as well 
Well, yeah, because if Linktree is going to be banning, uh, yeah, if uh, they ban, yeah, if they ban adult creators, fuck them. Why, why yeah. even bother? So yeah, exactly. so that's it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you learned as much as I did because I learned a lot. Did you learn anything or this? I did. I learned a few new things. It's great. See, you in the business and you learning shit. This is great. Exactly. All right, everyone. Talk to you next time. <laughs>